So, you're interested to know how offshore oil rig construction is done, but let me ask you some questions about a bigger perspective. Have you ever imagined how deep can offshore oil rigs are drilled into the seabed? Or how many gallons of paint are used to coat an average-sized oil rig? Or how many tons of equipment and supplies are transported during the construction of offshore oil rig? Yes. Today we're going to reveal some of the pretty intriguing secrets of oil rig construction that I bet you never know. But hold on, if you're new to IIM Civil Engineer, I welcome you on board on your very own YouTube channel. Oil rig construction is a spectacular feat of engineering that feeds the world's insatiable desire for energy. These massive tasks, which are often built in the middle of large oceans, are vital to the extraction of petroleum resources, which power companies, economies, and modern lifestyles. In our today's episode of Amazing Construction, we delve into the complexities of oil rig construction, investigating the method, process, obstacles, and innovations involved in the creation of these offshore marvels. Oil rig construction is a complicated task that involves rigorous planning, cutting-edge technology, and a professional team. The major goal is to build a robust platform that can survive the severe conditions of the open sea while also making it easier to recover oil and gas riches beneath the ocean floor. There are two main types of oil rigs, fixed platforms and floating structures. Fixed platform rigs are appropriate for shallow waters because they are anchored to the ocean floor. They are made out of a steel or concrete base that spans from the bottom to the surface of the water. These platforms are best in calm, shallow waters where the seafloor provides a stable foundation. Floating rigs, on the other hand, are intended for use in deeper oceans. Semi-submersibles, drill ships, and tension leg platforms TLPs, are the different types of constructions. To ensure stability, they employ a combination of buoyancy and mooring devices. Let's now delve into the construction process of oil rig. The first step is the pre-construction planning and design. Engineers and project managers conduct a feasibility study and develop detailed engineering designs using CAD software. The next is fabrication of components. Components such as the foundation, jacket structure and superstructure, living quarters, drilling equipment, etc. are fabricated off-site. Then comes the assembly and integration. Components are transported to the rig site and assembled, including foundation installation and superstructure integration. Next process is installation of equipment. Drilling, extraction, and processing equipment are installed, including drilling rigs, separators, pumps, and living quarters. Drilling, extraction, and processing equipment are installed, including drilling rigs, separators, pumps, and living quarters. Safety and testing is also vital. Safety systems are installed and tested, including fire detection, emergency shutoff valves, and evacuation routes. Various systems are tested through simulations. Floating rigs are towed to their location and positioned using mooring systems, while fixed platforms are installed directly at the site. The rig undergoes final testing and adjustments before being commissioned for drilling operations. Get ready for a revolution in efficiency, safety, and environmental performance. With our regular maintenance and cutting-edge upgrades, not only we're dialing up the power, but we are also stepping into the future with high-tech features. Imagine an upgrade system equipped with automation and remote monitoring systems. Yes, you heard it right. We are talking about the future today. Prepare to be amazed as we bring forth a new era of innovative solution. Harsh environmental conditions. Offshore rigs endure rough seas, corrosive salt water, and harsh weather, requiring strong designs and materials. Safety concerns. High pressure drilling, heavy machinery, and complex systems make rig operations dangerous, requiring a focus on worker safety and environmental impact reduction. Logistics. Transporting large components to remote offshore locations is challenging and can lead to cost overruns if not managed carefully. Depth and pressure. Deep water drilling poses technical challenges due to immense pressures and depths, requiring specialized engineering solutions. Regulatory compliance. Environmental standards govern rig construction, operation, and dismantling, requiring precise planning and implementation. Advanced materials, corrosion-resistant alloys, high-strength steels, and composites have extended the lifespan of rigs in harsh conditions. Automation and robotics, drones, ROVs, and autonomous systems perform inspections, maintenance, and drilling, reducing human risk. Digital twin technology. Real-time monitoring, predictive maintenance, and scenario simulations improve decision-making and optimize operations. Drilling technologies. 
Directional and extended reach drilling reduce environmental impact by accessing reservoirs from a single location. Subsea systems. Placing equipment on the seafloor minimizes environmental effects and protects marine ecosystems. Environmental mitigation. Waste management, water treatment, and spill response systems reduce rig activities' impact on marine life. Digitalization and data. Analytics. Big data and analytics optimize operations, predicting equipment failures and reducing downtime. So that's all about our today's video. Thanks and see you.